forecasts. I'm going to be doing the first half of February reading for you, focusing on the 1st through the 15th of February. Uh, an announcement, guys, that I will be announcing the winner for the free reading giveaway on February 16th of February, so please keep a lookout for that. I wanted to thank those of you who took the time to submit your entries. They're all wonderful, and it's going to be really difficult for me to choose a winner, but um, please keep a lookout for a special announcement that I will have mid-February for those who have not won, um, and I will uh, be able to offer you guys something else at that time, all right? So Cancer, um, this particular reading is going to focus on the energies of the divine uh, masculine and the divine feminine heading forward into the first half of February. All right, guys, so let's take a look at that. I'm going to be using a couple of different tarot decks today, Psychic Tarot and the Crystal Visions deck. So let's see what energies come forward for you, Cancer. So angels and spirit guides, please bring forward the energies of my divine masculine first half of February. going on with my divine masculine all right guys for cancer please angels spirit guides please bring it forward for my divine masculine all right starting off with financial and material changes here guys so with the energies of the uh, the Five of Pentacles. Okay. For my Divine Masculine, please, angels, spirit guides, please bring it forward. First half of February. Please bring it forward. Okay, we have a few. We've got awareness coming forward. Okay, that is the magician in a traditional tarot. Also have rejoice and celebration, three of cups energy, and the triumphant success card, ace of swords. Okay, let's pull some cards for the divine feminine. First half of February. Please angels and spirit guides, please bring it forward. Discontent and boredom coming forward with the Four of Cups energy for the Divine Feminine. Also, partnerships and alliances, Three of Wands energy, movement choices and decisions, which is the Two of Pentacles. Okay, let's pull one more. One more, please, for my Divine Feminine. Cancer energy. Okay, she's picking up off of some sort of deception from her divine masculine. The bottom card for her, though, is the fertility card. Okay, overall energy. Let's pull some cards from Crystal Visions. Divine masculine energy, please. Divine Masculine Energy. This is a new deck and it is super slippery. Still getting used to it. All right, for my Divine Masculine. What additional energies is coming forward? My divine masculine for cancer. Page of Wands energy coming forward. Can okay, we pull one for the divine feminine? Her energies. Okay. She's coming forward with the Five of Swords energy. Some pretty heavy energies from my divine feminine. However, look at the bottom card, guys. You've got the sun. Okay, 
We've got some pretty awesome bottom of the deck cards here. So let's take a look at the Divine Masculine for Cancer. Okay, so we've got five of Pentacles energy coming forward here. So he is definitely going through some hard times. He may be ill, not doing well health-wise, feeling a bit rejected. Okay. Um, there's definitely a level of insecurity, financial struggles, poverty, a level of worry. Things have been a little bit difficult for my divine masculines. But things are going to improve. He does have the awareness card here, guys, which in traditional tarot is the magician. Okay, so my divine masculine wants to, he wants to switch directions is what I'm feeling here especially in relation to his livelihood, his career. He needs a change of scenery. He needs to, I'm feeling for some of my divine masculines, you've been at this particular company for a long time and you, you want literally a change of scenery. You want a new job, a new career path. And you're coming through with the energies that you're a very flexible individual. You're very creative, very smart, very gifted, you have it within yourself to accomplish anything that you set your mind towards. And I am feeling for some of my divine masculines, that's exactly where your headspace is. You want better for your life at this time because you know what it's like to struggle, especially financially. You're ready for some better times. And I am feeling that you know what it's like to, to be alone to feel abandoned perhaps in certain relationships that you have been in, relationships that have ended since. Perhaps this is coming through as past energy for some of you. You wanna manifest your desires. You wanna ma manifest some changes in your life and not just in regard to your finances, of course, especially in your romantic life, I'm feeling for some of my divine masculines. You're a risk taker. You're not afraid to go after what and who you want. You want to take charge and take action because you're, you're done being in this headspace of the Five of Pentacles. You want positive outcome. And in relation to your love life, you want something really special. You want that once in a lifetime type of love to come into your life. And I am feeling for my divine masculines picking up off of this energy. You have been single for quite a while and you're ready for a change. You're ready to find your true love, your soulmate, that one person that you feel you can connect with on a really, really nice level. And I'm feeling that that has yet to happen. Okay. But it's, around the corner, I'm feeling. And for some of you, um, someone from your past will be coming back into your life. You will be rekindling the romance that you had with this individual. So that's for a small group of you guys. For some of my divine masculines, I am feeling that you have your heart set on someone from your past and they are coming back. And once that occurs, that will be bringing forth the energies of the Three of Cups. Rejoice and celebration. Um, I know that sometimes that comes through as third-party energy. I'm not feeling that here this time around for my Divine Masculine. I'm not feeling that energy. I'm truly feeling that once he finds love this time around, he's going to nurture it and truly will see a future for himself with that connection. For some of you, this could signify marriage in the future. It could also be representative of um, just enjoying your friendships in your life, enjoying those closest 
to you, your family, your friends, your coworkers, perhaps, those that you interact with on a, on a regular basis. Lots of celebrations coming in for some of my Cancer Divine Masculines the first half of, half of February. Some nice energies coming through there. You also have the Ace of Swords energy coming forward here. Bringing forward a level of truth and justice in regard to a particular situation. Level of fortitude coming into a more powerful way of interacting in your life, victorious, coming into clarity in regard to certain aspects of your life for my divine masculines. So definitely moving away from the five of pentacles energy, a sense of loss, feeling alone, abandoned, financial struggles and worry, all that is going to pass for my divine masculine that's going to change get out of that time heading forward towards celebration and better days ahead victorious energies absolutely there's also the page of wands on my divine masculine side so from some of you this is coming forward with the energies of creativity, once again. Picking up off of the Magician Awareness card here. You're a very creative individual. You know how to navigate through challenges and obstacles in your life. You enjoy life, you're very enthusiastic. You're confident in how you move forward in your life regardless of whatever obstacles are in your way. You're courageous. You're not afraid to tackle those challenges. You love to discover new things in life. And in regard to your romantic life for my divine masculines, I really feel that You're ready for true love to come into your life. You're ready to discover the type of love that you know you're meant to have. This is coming through for a lot of my singles who are unattached at this time and you really want to find true love. And I love how the bottom of the card for the Psychic Tarot is fertility. This is the Empress. Okay. So for some of you, your Divine Feminine will be someone that you can truly see yourself with forever. She's coming through with the energies of Mother Earth, the absolute picture of femininity. For some of you, you will be growing your family because this could be representative of birth, growing a family, pregnancy. She can stand on her own two feet. She represents future success in love, sexual pleasure and fertility. So now looking at the side of my Divine Feminine for Cancer. She's got discontent and boredom here. Picking up off of the energies of the Four of Cups. She's in contemplation mode right now. She's definitely going within herself to analyze the state of her affairs. She's been through some rough patches in her life as well. She wants something better. She as well wants to pick up off of the energies of the Fertility Empress card. 
she wants to manifest growth in her life as well. She's got partnerships and alliances right here. So she is ready to find her soulmate. She's ready to find someone that can truly love her and show her what it's like to fully be loved and appreciated and cherished. She as well is wanting to explore what's out there. So my divine masculine is in discovery mode. She's in exploration mode. She wants to see what's out there in love as well. She's tired of being in this headspace. She wants to break free from this. So I really do feel for my divine feminines, she's getting ready to welcome in the type of love that she knows she is deserving of. We do, after all, have the Empress and the sun card as the other bottom of the bottom of the deck. So the sun is definitely going to be shining on these two people coming together. She does have the two of pentacles energy also coming through here, movement, choices, decisions. I'm picking up off of the energies that my Divine Feminine has some choices in love that she needs to make. She wants to move forward from being discontented and bored in her life, especially in her romantic life. She wants to be able to find balance back in her life. She wants to bring back a level of fun into her life. And she knows that with all the options that are coming towards her, she knows that she needs to make wise decisions, especially in regard to who it is that she wants to bring into her circle, into her heart, into her life. These partnerships and alliances, she knows that she's got many options of individuals that are coming towards her, but they're, they're not all good options because what she's got next to her is deception and envy. So she has someone that is coming towards her with that sort of energy. Someone that's not being truthful with her, someone that's not being real with her. Possibly a third party is what they're wanting to introduce into this equation with her. That is, after all, the Seven of Swords energy. So she's wanting to run away from this individual. She doesn't want to interact with this person. Mm -mm, not at all. Because this is representative of some sort of betrayal and deception. And I am feeling that... She, she's been through some tough times in her romantic life. This is not the type of individual that she wants to be dealing with. So she knows what it's like to have been in relationships that are not cohesive, that are not good, that are not honest. And she's looking at her divine masculine, this particular divine masculine, as someone that she could truly enjoy a future with, someone that she could build a family with someday, someone that she could grow old with, build a future. And it's interesting how she's got the Five of Swords energy coming through here.
definitely a level of conflict, tension, and defeat. So some of the choices that are coming towards her are introducing these elements to the divine feminine, and she's not going for it. She's going to move forward and make some wise decisions for herself. She's going to get out of that headspace of being discontented and bored in her life and find something so much better than where she's been. She doesn't want to deal with that. Because after all, this is the crowning energy from the Crystal Visions deck. That is the Sun card. Representing growth, similar to the Empress and Fertility card. And yeah, it's also picking up really similar energies. New birth, renewal of life. Most positive card in the deck coming through here for my divine masculine and feminine. I have a feeling that once these two individuals connect, if you haven't connected already, it's, it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be a really great connection, guys. This connection will bring forward a level of contentment, such intense joy. And yes, it could absolutely be representative for some of you of, of marriage, of coming together, building a family together, heading forward into the future. That is a possibility with that sun card for sure. So let's pull some Romance Angels cards, guys, and let's see what additional messages can come through. For Cancer, first half of February. Please, Angels, bring it forward. For my Divine Masculine. Whoops. All right, Divine Masculine, please bring forward a message for my Divine Masculine, and then we'll pull one for the Divine Feminine. Okay, a couple cards here, guys. So we've got the Flirt card here. Okay, so my Divine Masculine definitely coming forward with a very light-hearted energy. He wants to have fun. He wants to reintroduce that lighthearted energy towards his divine feminine. And you deserve love coming forward. You are lovable. So my divine masculine is ready to extend this arrow of love towards his intended, towards his divine feminine. Whoever it is that he has his eye on, he's going to get her. He loves her is what I'm feeling here. He's ready for life to take a turn toward, towards better times. He wants a reason to rejoice and celebrate. And I am feeling, again, guys, with these two individuals coming forward and exploring this connection, I really do feel for those of you picking up off of this storyline that there is a marriage for some of you guys heading forward into the future. I do feel that energy here. Okay, so let's pull some messages for my divine feminine divine feminine please angels all right let your friends help you bottom card passion my divine feminine is very passionate about this connection with her divine masculine, no doubt. And if you look at the photo of this card, it's a bride getting ready for her wedding. She's got the support system of possibly her bridesmaids, her flower girl. They are there to support her during this wonderful time of her life. 
So really, guys, it's resonating off of the energies from the divine masculine that he wants to solidify a future with his divine feminine. For my divine feminine, I really do see her getting out of this headspace of feeling discontented and bored in her life. She doesn't want any craziness in her life with anyone that wants to introduce any sort of third-party energies to her. Nothing like that. She doesn't want anything that will be destructive towards how she perceives her romantic life. She wants to be happy. She wants ultimately to marry her divine masculine. And that is the energy that's coming forward for her. This couple, these two people, whether you guys have come together or not, okay, I do feel for some of you that this is the energy coming forward for you the first half of February, okay? And the sun is blessing this reading. Whoever it is that you are connecting with, I do feel that the potential to move things to the next level this first half of February, it, it's going to happen. And with Valentine's Day coming around the corner, I do feel for some of you that there is a proposal that's going to be coming forward from this connection for some of you guys. So ultimately, very nice energies, Cancer, coming forward. So let's close out your reading with advice, messages from the Whispers of Love deck. I just got this today. These cards are massive. Look at the difference in size. I mean, it, it's so huge that it's hard to shuffle. But I love the deck, beautiful artwork, very nice. All right, so for my divine, masculine let's choose a card for him all right and they're kind of sticking together still because they're so new okay forgiveness nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments yes absolutely coming forward for my divine masculine and really it's picking up off of the energies of that five of pentacles where he is coming through with the energies of feeling abandoned a sense of loss um worry poverty like literally coming forward with some very stressful energies and he didn't get there alone okay he was definitely in connections in the past with with people that didn't serve him well that ended up hurting him breaking his heart and in order to move forward and find true love the kind of love that he is so deserving of he needs to be able to forgive anyone that has hurt him in the past he needs to be able to forgive the situation and to free himself from the energies of where he's been and move forward and be happy absolutely so now let's pull one for the divine feminine all right divine feminine okay slow down making sense yes when you are excited you get ahead of yourself take some time to allow things to unfold absolutely she's really been through enough in her life by way of dealing with those who have been deceptive, those who have been wanting to get her into a third party situation, um, feeling discontented and bored in life and in her love life especially. So with the energies of the Empress wanting her to move forward and grow in her life and feeding the passions that she has for her divine masculine it's definitely picking up off of her level of excitement but because this is such for some of you a new connection it's telling her to slow down and really take it all in don't make any hasty decisions in regard to any part of her life that could alter the direction that this ultimately will go take time to allow things to unfold absolutely so that is coming forward for my divine feminine 
And it absolutely does take time for love to grow. The sunflowers in this photo reminds me of a garden where it truly takes time for the seeds of love to blossom, for prosperity to come to fruition, for things to come to the surface. It takes time. But I do feel eventually my divine feminine will be truly happy with her divine masculine, whoever it is she is connecting with in regard to this particular reading. So those are my messages for you this time around, Cancer. I hope you guys enjoyed this, whoever this came through for. Some wonderful energies. At the end of the day, I really do feel that these are two people that will grow to love each other very much if you don't already. And I do feel, again, for some of you, it will culminate in a marriage and or proposal um, for some of you this first half of February. All right, guys, so very nice messages coming forward for Cancer at this time. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will be back. Um, I'm trying to hopefully incorporate weekly readings uh, for my channel um, if I do have the time to do so. If um, the personal readings that I get ordered, um, if I do have the time, I will absolutely uh, do that for you guys. All right, Cancer, so again, thank you for tuning in, and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.